Is the following function a power function, polynomial function, both, or neither? All right, so first we have to know what a power and polynomial function are or is. Don't really know the correct term there because I forgot what I said, but here we go. So power function, it's a function that will equal now some constant, some number, okay? This could either be positive or negative. Multiplied by a variable, raised to then some positive exponential value, okay? It has to be a number though. Okay, can't be a variable up there. Polynomial function now is basically, you can think of it as like a series of power functions kind of added together. Now there's a couple of things that could be different here. You can have one power, you know, kind of one power function in there and you can add then a constant. That's fine, all right? So you could have a constant term, meaning you don't have a variable in it, you would just have some k value, all right? But you can't have just a constant by itself, right? You have to have something that has a variable in it of some sort, all right? And a polynomial function could be one term singularly, just like that, that would be called a monomial, all right? You could have two of them, that would be a, a binomial, right? Three of them would be a trinomial, blah, 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 okay? Um, so the goal here now is to look at this and see if we can manipulate this at all, algebraically, any possible way that we can make this match one of these two, you know, general forms. Now, the thing is, the first thing I notice is that there is, you know, there's a big, uh-oh, there's an exponent, there's a variable exponent, right? There is a variable x in the exponent of 3. Now, in a power function, it has to be a number up there. And in the polynomial function, it has to also be a number up there as well. You cannot have a variable as an exponent with either a power function or polynomial function. Okay, and there's no way for me to algebraically manipulate this to, in such a way to get rid of that x up there and then somehow make it match these forms, all right? Now, I obviously can't, like, well, I could, but it's a little bit beyond this. You know, prove it, right? We could go through a couple ways to think about how to reduce it, but it'll never work, okay? The idea, though, is whenever you have an exponent, just so you know, um, that is a variable, that becomes an exponential, exponential function. Uh, which is not really uh, asked for, so it's the answer would be neither. Guys, thanks for tuning in. I really do appreciate it. I hope this helps, and if it does, like, subscribe, tell your friends, all right? We appreciate it, and uh, yeah, if it also helped you, drop us a note. We love to read, all right? We love to read all types of comments. Um, thanks.